Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a pretty chill video. I haven't prepared anything like any outline or anything like that. So if you want one of my more like, structured videos, you can pop into a different one. But this one is just gonna be chilled. I'm just gonna be summarizing how I feel right now regarding my Flatiron online program. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty chilled, pretty laid back. So grab yourself a snack and a drink and let's go into the video. So for those of you who don't know, I lived in the US for five years and then I moved to Hungary about two years ago to go to medical school where I realized that I wasn't passionate enough for medicine and I decided to change my career into software engineering so I signed up to Flatiron School, I got in of course and now I'm somewhat at the end of the program I want to say. I have still a few projects to do but I feel like at this point I know way more than I knew when I filmed the, this first video that I filmed. I feel like now I have a lot more to say and I want to share it with you. So I didn't upload for about two weeks and the reason for it is because I actually just moved to Switzerland so I will be looking for jobs in the Zurich area and yeah I'm hoping to get going in about a month or two months something around this line so if you are curious where I'm at this is kind of the timeline I am somewhat at the end but I still have a few things to go through a few a few other models that I need to tackle so, so far, I can say that my experience and my opinion hasn't changed. So, I still love the bootcamp, I still would have taken it again. I don't regret anything, I think it's a great program. I think that they give you all the tools you need and all the organization you need. And as well as with the projects. I feel like in the first video that I made, I kind of said that for some of the projects they don't really help you necessarily like they hope that you're gonna make up things yourself and research yourself and learn yourself but now I have a different perspective so Flatter and School provide you with a library of videos library of videos meaning it's an online archive full of videos of all lectures project builds, all sorts of information that really can help you. Meaning that when you're about to build your projects that they're requiring you to, you can head into this library and you can watch a few videos. Meaning you can watch a few other projects that other instructors or anybody, even I know the head of the Flatiron School, filmed himself building some projects and it's in the library so you can definitely use this tool and I think it's one of the tools that I'm using the most lately so I think without signing into Flatiron of course you can watch you know YouTube tutorials but I feel like in the actual Flatiron videos it's more in depth and I feel like yeah, maybe some of these concepts you can find somewhere else but at the end of the day there is a definite structure to this program and the more I study there and the more I am getting into the end the more I understand why they started the way they started why the middle is and the end is the way the end is and the more I appreciate the opportunity that I took of course that I paid for but you know that I took and I wanted to also mention another thing that I didn't mention in the first video the cost I know coding bootcamp is so expensive it starts at nine thousand dollars and can reach until twenty five thousand dollars and it's tons of money it's comparable to a full-on four-year degree but you cannot forget that coding bootcamp if you, of course, if you want and if you wish and if you work hard enough, can lead you to find a job. And in most cases, lead you to find a job. 
So I'm not saying not everybody will finish this program and will definitely find a job immediately. It doesn't work this way. But I think if you want it so bad and you work really hard and you're determined and you know that you want to search for a job after, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't get this opportunity and why you cannot get in. Because if you are kind of familiar, familiar with what you need to know and familiar with how you should prepare for the job search, I think you can, not easily, but you can get a job, your first job. So yeah, so far, I will summarize. I am very much happy with the program. I would definitely recommend that you go ahead and sign in and of course I'm not getting paid or anything like that. It's my true opinion. I think you should go and research other schools as well, but at the end of the day, I picked Flatiron because I thought they were the best. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will film way more videos regarding my coding bootcamp experience and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.